What's up, guys? It's your boy Matt Pack Courtwin here, coming at you with a new one. And today, oh man, I called it. Uh, we are talking about G4 once again, uh, particularly Frost, who has now been fired, uh, as it would seem. And uh, like I said, I, I did a video last week um, calling this out. I said, uh, new video, G4 laid off 30 staffers. The end is near. Frost can pretend to be happy, but they will come for her too. I promise. Here they are. Less than a week later, and they have come for her. Now, probably because uh, she's tweeted out this stupid thing a couple of days ago, pretty much dancing on the graves of her uh, colleagues. Uh, but boy, was this uh, was this tone deaf. But uh, <clears throat> now, Frost <clears throat> isn't the reason G4 fell apart. She is a reason why G4 fell apart, but truthfully, the entire project was on sand to begin with. Um, they use an old model, an old TV model that just doesn't work today. TV is failing. This studio model with panelists and skits and, you know, 20, you know, 2006, you know, TV just, it doesn't work. Um, people would rather see personalities uh, just meme and talk shit about the industry, the entertainment industry, the gaming industry, the music industry, whatever industry you have you. All right. Um, but truthfully, truthfully, all these corporations and these industries are uh, falling apart. They're, they don't they no longer control the narrative, particularly because you can actually go and watch people give an honest opinion. Um, that aren't bought and paid for, you know, uh, again, there are people that are bought and paid for, but for the most part, you're going to have an honest opinion from somebody. I may not agree with certain opinions on certain people, but their opinion may be, you know, it's at least genuine for the most part. But people like Frost, Adam Sessler, um, they are not genuine. They are, they're clout chasers. And well, in Adam Sessler's case, he's just an asshole. He's just an old asshole who's bitter and just, you know, has, has lost his mind. Uh, and Frost is just a clout chaser. She, um, I, I would, I would be surprised if she believes half the bullshit that comes out of her mouth, truthfully. And, and she got a lot of stuff wrong, particularly. And, and that, that is another reason I want, I want to come to and why, why G Forrest failed. Uh, the, panelists and the host's inability to correct anybody or be correct or just be you know anything but a bunch of shills all right um <clears throat> several times frost was wrong on several occasions on particular games coming out on particular particular dates on particular consoles uh she was a fangirl who was she was an xbox fangirl who was very bad at it all right if you're gonna be a console fan, you know, boy, or do that whole, you know, shtick, at least be good at it, all right? She was as bad as MBG Gaming, all right? Let's be real. <laughs> uh, it was all fake fanboy bullshit. And uh, she was wrong about a lot of things and no one on that panel, not a single dude or woman for that matter, matter had the balls to tell this chick, you are wrong. Can we please be correct? I thought we were uh, a gaming information site or whatever. No, we're we're not that. We're a bunch of losers. Here we are. So a week after big layoffs rocked the network, Kotaku has learned that X-Play host Indiana Frost is no longer the G4 Comcast. Is no longer with G4. Comcast, G4's parent company, bought out the remainder. Ooh, what? bought out the remainder of her contract damn they literally paid her to go away <laughs> god damn <clears throat> according to two sources familiar with the business the news was announced internally by head of the network joe marsh in a town hall meeting on tuesday morning black was one of the main hosts of x-play alongside jared the completionist yet see another another ass head who sat there like a fucking seal and bark. There, 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 you go first. Yeah, again, another reason why this network failed is the people, the panelists who are on there. People say, oh, Jared's a nice guy. No, fuck him too. All right, he's another reason why this fucking shit failed. Corey the Black Hoe Cage, 
Smallwood and Adam Sessler. Now, now, Adam Sessler is another big reason why this network failed. He is an insufferable prick on Twitter. All right. He has literally wished death upon family members with different political opinions than him. Uh, the guy is truly an asshead, and, and he hasn't been with G4 for a few months because he left due to family emergency. Where have I heard that excuse from? But regardless, um, the personalities are the reason that this shit failed. All right, well, the high overhead costs on an old failing model, number one, and number two, the insufferable hosts. All right, and they had a few people that a few people liked. All right, but for the most part, uh, this shit was insufferable and boring and just doesn't get the views. Uh, they didn't get the views before the rant that Frost did. They weren't getting, let's see, again, they have a very high overhead cost. They have a fucking whole studio for this shit. So if you're not getting enough views to break even on your on your overhead cost, and then Frost goes out and does her stupid rant attacking the, you know, male gamers, uh, hell, attacking female gamers for that matter, uh, attacking a bunch of gamers, and what happens? You don't like your content, don't watch. Okay, well, nobody watch. What happens? Well, you get fired. You start laying people off. You start downsizing. That's what's happening here. So the train is coming to a stop. This uh, reanimated zombie uh, mummified corpse uh, is finally, you know, going to be laid to rest. Thank God. I don't whoever decided to resurrect the zombie. It, it was a bad idea. All right. Black came to G4 from the League of Legends esports scene where she was a color commentator where she also uh, did nothing but complain about how uh, the League of Legends was nothing but misogynist and assholes and all kinds of racists because this is the first, this is not the first time she's done this, all right? And this will not be the, the last time. I, I, I promise you she'll probably end up somewhere else where she will burn more bridges and continue to uh, grift her way uh, through life because that, that, is, that is what these people do. Um, I don't believe she believes, I don't believe she uh, believes half the shit that comes out of her mouth. All right. I believe she's just going to say and do whatever it is to, you know, get on top. And, and, and uh, this woke gravy train is going to, it's going to end and she's going to take an about face and, and try and do something else somewhere else. In a January episode, she called out the sexist expectations and double standards on some G4 viewers in a speech to the co-host Adam Sister called one of the most amazing things ever been part of on live TV. God, Adam Sessler is an insufferable prick. Two sources Kotaku spoke to speculated that the timing of the decision may have been related to a September 15th tweet in which Black posted a meme saying, I survived. Uh, yes, this very uh, tasteless and, uh, you know, this ill-timed meme. It was likely aimed at those who had celebrated the G4 layoffs hoping that Black would be among them but was also interpreted by many as a tone deaf in the wake of many losing their jobs and they network uh, just the day before. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Look, um, my whole deal was I, I, you saw my tweet. I expected her to get fired. I expect more firings that, 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 that last week was just the first round. All right. Frost is just another, is another part of the, of the next round. Cause there's going to be several rounds of layoffs. They're not doing well. They're not making a lot of money. Um, so they're going to cut costs. Black's departure seems far from the only likely shakeup coming as G4 faces financial pre financial pressures to increase revenue while cutting costs. Three, three sources familiar with business tell Kotaku. They expect a bigger focus on lower budget personality led Twitch streams instead of highly produced talk shows and sketch comedy segments. According to one source, Kim Pereira, the host of Attack of the Show is set to leave in G4 in some time in October. So Kim Pereira is leaving too. All right. So this model, it does, doesn't work. It said it yourself in this article. They said in this article, uh, they're going to focus on lower budget, uh, personality led Twitch stream. So basically they are going to cut everybody off until there's like four or five Twitch streamers where all they're going to do is play video games on Twitch. Yay. G4 is going to end up being like the Playboy logo. It's just another fucking brand, uh, a shell of itself. That means nothing. It's just a fucking symbol. All right, because it's dead. The creators are dead. 
in Playboy's case, quite literally. I mean, this, this, uh, you know, these, these, these companies, uh, they fall and uh, Comcast, a giant ass corporation who's also trying to hold on to its relevancy because again, these, uh, companies, these corporations, the entertainment industry, the cable industry, the music industry, all that, uh, they are losing, uh, they're losing the narrative. Um, but you got Disney over here trying to create controversy with their black aerial, uh, trying to uh, have the bots on Twitter say, oh, it's just the racist and the misogynist. That's why they don't like it when in actuality, the biggest reason people are, are upset with this is because it is another unoriginal piece of crap. Uh, instead of something new, it's just a reboot, remake, sequel, or whatever have you. And they recast and they're going to try and make her sound like a... Uh, a bootleg Beyonce and when everyone rejects it because obviously they will reject it because we're everyone's tired of this fucking shit uh, they'll just blame its failure on the racist and misogynist and again it's going to be just them attacking their own audience which will then drive more people away so it, it, it is what it is so these companies as corporations you know that have controlled the narrative and controlled the entertainment industry and that have controlled and pulled the strings on everything uh, they are slowly but surely losing power and it is because uh, People just are disconnecting from all the bullshit, you know, you can you can go on on any kind of you can go on YouTube You can go on bit shoot, you know mines, whatever Odyssey and you can find people with legitimate opinions um, And that isn't part of the narrative uh, you, you find opinions that that break the narrative and you know people like frost people like adam sessler who were just uh relics of an old time and i know i know frost wasn't you know originally with g4 but um she is straight up just a grifter who was uh just like people do like she's just like um these old news hacks like fucking uh geraldo rivera or fucking Rachel Maddow or these these fucking, you know, TV personalities. Um, they just do and say whatever it is to to, to be in front of, of the light and be popular. Like I said, she used to go in League of Legends and just whine and bitch about that shit too until she ended up on G4 where she whined and bitched about shit where she will then end up somewhere else and whine and bitch about shit. Um, and Adam Sessler is just an insufferable, insufferable pit prick and it's just it, it's unfortunate for the people that that you know legitimately were doing a good job up there like the camera people the set people uh because they're getting rid of all this shit like i said there's only going to be four or five personalities left and uh uh all these people sitting right here all these people right here they're all gonna be gone and like frost is just the first first one they're they're all gone so uh, G4 is a shell of itself, and what will be left is probably just a head in a jar, just like on Futurama. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. If you like what you see, like what you hear, go ahead and like, share, subscribe. Follow me on social media. I'll have all the links in the description. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Uh -huh.